hello youtube so today i am making a new video on my new purchase that is fnd t60x from so many days i had in my mind to buy some kind of tower speakers because basically there is lots of difference between the home theater systems the 2.1 5.1 the sound bars and these tower speakers first of all you can see these are huge and the volumetric area they will provide for the subwoofer will be huge that's why you get deep and loud bass from the tower speakers second reason was they are less messy there are no mess of wires like your 5.1 7.1 systems uh, this is my work from home room and so i i was looking for something powerful yet easy to install and compact as well so this is the best match for that that concern as well and around tower speakers this is most popular tower speaker speaker till now uh, another options i had in mind were philips 9080b which is really really better than this one in terms of sound quality but when it comes to cost and rms wattage it's not value for money you won't get maximum bang for your bucks okay that is pretty expensive system philips 9080b that system can compete this one in terms of sq but in terms of spl nothing beats this um, i have seen many new videos for that obej brand but i have seen some insights of the tor speaker and they are really using everything local made material and like obes there are plenty of brands like uh, well repeated brands which are taken over by other chinese companies like altec lansing jack martin uh, they are they call themselves indian okay intex zebronix all are made in china purely made in china and they are made by their vendors they are not even making them manufacturing them in their own warehouse they are not investing in r and d or anything FND is also cheap chinese brand but they have their own r&d and they deal only in audio okay edifier is also chinese brand but you know what level edifier has same way never uh, go on the fake claims like this is chinese brand it won't compete or indian brand nothing like that okay indian brand is good if you go for sonodyne or any higher end brands like that okay these obejen all is just uh, experiment they will make money and they will run out of market uh, for the price obej is also good but they are not uh, made for audio files okay or even bass heads they are made for beginners who are just looking uh, for make in india and cheap uh, sound system because their uh, top of the line product cost less than 10000 i guess so that is not the case 
Uh, one thing I want to share with you is that before installing it here, I uploaded the video. I attached the video with this video itself in the beginning you have seen. I kept it in my living room. Unfortunately, I was not able to take any video over there for the sound test performance. And anyways, for the sound test perfor performance, you won't uh, able to judge anything from the video recording unless and until you come here physically and have a demo. Okay. So whatever I am explaining is the honest opinion. I buy my product myself. I never get any kind of sponsored products. That's why I am brutally honest all the time. Even though I have purchased this, uh, this one couple of days ago, still I am first starting with the cons. I am not uh, giving you fake hopes that anything is not perfect in this world. Okay, And that's why we are here to help you. So when I kept it in my living room, it's a huge room, like uh, 400 square feet. And their performance of the same system was far, far better. Even my Edifier 2.1 system XM6BT, which was placed here before, I shifted it down to my bedroom and it is pretty big. That's why even Edifier is uh, performing way better than this spot. Okay. So trust me guys, the bigger rooms give better bass, better audio quality. Don't compromise uh, with the small rooms if you have okay, the bigger room option. In my case, this is my office room and this much area is more than enough for me. And I wanted something loud. So I upgraded with this FND speakers. But this same set will sound a hell lot better in bigger room. This I have experienced myself yesterday. That's why I'm telling. Now coming to the point, this has dual 8 inch subwoofer. And my Sony 5.1 system is installed in my living room. And I was trying to compare it. This is 110 watt RMS and that is 1000 watt RMS. I was thinking like Sony is giving only 6.5 inch sub. And how are they claiming 1000 watt RMS 5.1 system? So that is true. Sony is more... Uh, wide in frequency response as well as it is more room filling okay you won't uh, get any kind of uh, missing notes into the sony system whereas this is also powerful system the bass is really good but uh, it can't fill the room of 300 400 square feet size that is the bitter truth but that is designed for, uh, for surround system the sony system and you know uh, sony has always been very nice in case of uh, mid and high especially the highs of sony are crystal clear but the base of sony is not so good so that was the comparison these are the points i wanted to highlight that's why i'm making this video now coming to the point it uh, this system has wireless mic mic hello 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 so this mic is good but uh, if I keep it close, then only you can hear me. But if I keep it far, it's, it won't capture anything. It's not that sensitive. But if I keep it too close, you will hear some kind of distortion like now. Hello, hello. You can hear that distortion now. That is not a good thing. Okay. You can't hear me clearly in these speakers. So I can't even use these speakers and this microphone for professional parties. It is not as clear as it should be. And even I tried connecting this Boya BYM1 microphone to that on camera mode, but it's not working, unfortunately. So, and it doesn't even have the aux port. This Boya BYM1, uh, when you shift it on camera mode, it directly works on any system on aux mode. But this system doesn't have the aux mode. It has the aux mode, but that is RCA input on the back. And this boy of BYNM1 has the 3.5 mm jack. I don't want to fall in that mess. That is another story. But that is the case. The FM reception is average. But uh, better than other systems. Which uh, struggle to capture good signal. In this case, only few channels are very crystal clear for the FM. But uh, few channels are not uh, even able to capture any signal in this room. That is the another drawback. Uh, this system has two mid bass drivers and one tweeter. The tweeter is still dome. That's why the highs are pretty good. 
it has two 8 inch subwoofers it are uh, those are not only woofers you can see the video closely and you can feel that surround is thick and heavy that's why they are subwoofer that is the pretty simple logic you can apply for any kind of system the comp uh, competitors for this system were like blopunk uh, thomson uh, zebronics boat but all these are brands which are from chinese vendors and they are just putting their sticker on it and this is our product you will find exactly same uh, control panels into the boat into the blopunk uh, thomson the volume control panels and ic inside everything circuitry is the same so it doesn't make sense if the brand is not give, doing good r and d behind the product and just launch, launching it uh, to makes the profit that doesn't make sense such brands are uh, basically focusing only on audio that's why i prefer this one now i shared all the pros and cons about this system the best part of this system is it's crazy loud okay it's not uh, average system this system is very very powerful to irritate your neighbors but uh, in long run you won't enjoy it much because it, this system is not that pleasing or soothing to your ears okay after some time you will get some irritation this system has punchy bass the lows are not uh, that concise okay because the subwoofer has a stiffer mag uh, suspension uh, basically because this is a party speaker and manufacturer knows that you will use it to the full potential uh, when you will be enjoying your party that's why these are not designed in such a way that you will enjoy the lows like uh, jbl you have jbl uh, bass tone like like we have in car audio dd sundown that kind of bass tone you will not get that kind of tonal performance in this kind of systems this is meant for party and it goes very very loud i can't even use it at half volume in my home uh, another drawback is as you can see my master volume and my laptop is 50 same way the master volume here is half that is 16 if i change volume from here you can notice the volume is being changed here that is the bug it should not happen okay in any kind of system i have never seen such kind of bug before and it is not only happening with this uh, laptop it's happening with my cell phone as well so whenever i am trying to increase or decrease volume over here in my device then it's changing here also that is not a big problem but it is strange kind of issue what i used to do in my old systems or any kind of other systems i have I just uh, tune my master volume on my audio system once and then I just change here as per my test. If I am in call or something and my volume is on full, this system uh, and if accidentally I play some music, this system will throw me out of this room. It is too loud to adjust in the environment. So that was all regarding this it has uh, this kind of remote control the uh, good part is you have bass and travel control over here itself and recently i have seen one obs system they have given the mid control not on remote on the system but do you think it really will it make any difference i don't think so because uh, no one goes to configure their system again and again manually by hand who will do that there are some equalizer options you will directly change it from remote and you are good to go so that was my review for this system now let's do the sound test if you have any questions guys drop your comments below uh, i already shared the pros and cons one thing i forgot to share you it has nfc okay that means uh, whenever i enter inside the room the Bluetooth is not so good like it will get auto connected with my laptop or my smartphone. Even if you switch on your Bluetooth and this system at the same time, they won't get auto connected. Okay, You will have to go to settings of your Bluetooth, search for this device and then manually connect it all the time, most of the times. Uh, and But my Edifier system used to auto connect anytime uh, if I start it, it used to auto connect very smoothly. 
also the notes of the edifier system are pleasant to your ears that is the difference uh, both are manufactured for different uh, purpose and fnd has never focused on the sq part they are always focused on the loudness the punch and all that things so that's why this is the best speaker for the party lovers in the, this budget but if you want something which will go down low frequency bass the pleasant highs then go for sony 9080b let's have the sound test now i will be recording this sound test with my boya boya m1 itself volume will be just 50% I will try to increase it if I can digest it. I kept everything close but still it will disturb the neighbors. 50 60 70% that was my demo that was my demo for this system this is this system is actually overpowering for this room this much is not needed but you know it's never enough another purpose to have this is uh, this is on my terrace this room is on, connected to my terrace so if there will be any party or some function in future i can just uh, pick up this system and keep it outside and it will be useful for a small amount small kind of functions also so that was my review sorry for being lengthy but i have noted these points down in my mind to make the best video i can thanks for watching stay tuned if you have any questions drop your comments below leave loud